Oh there, and now I'm going to demonstrate our medicine ball push-up. But before I do, I want to explain a little bit about the push-up and how you can more safely and more effectively perform them. The one issue with the, with the push-up is that when you put your hands flat on the floor, your wrist is at a vulnerable position. So uh, it's a little bit compromised. When you can straighten out that wrist like that and can perform push-ups like that, uh, it's a lot safer on the wrist and therefore the tension can go more safely go to the chest. So if you don't have push-up stands you can, and you have some dumbbells, you can simply grab some dumbbells, put them a little wider, about shoulder width apart, maybe slightly wider, and that wrist stays nice and tight and straight. Three seconds down, push your elbows out to the side, get a stretch. Three seconds up. Three seconds down, pause. And three seconds up. For you entry level people, that's a great way to start. Don't do any advanced form of push-ups until you can do 15 or make preferably 20 repetitions nice and slow and safe like that. When you can perform 20, it's time to make it more challenging and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So if you can do 20 that way with your hands on a push-up stand or a dumbbell or if you don't have anything, you can try to use your fist, maybe put your fist on a pillow or a pad on the floor. It's going to be safer in the wrist and let you feel that chest. Now we're going to put our feet elevated a little bit higher than our head. That's going to give us more, more resistance on our chest. Down, breathing in. Pause. Slow and controlled. Down, breathing in. Down, breathing in. And blow. On the descent, push your elbows out to the side. Feel a nice stretch in the chest. Pause. And then try to visualize driving your elbows together and squeeze and contract the chest on the positive of the, of the push-up. All right, now the medicine ball push-up. It's a great, unique movement. It's a little bit unstable. and lets you get more of a stretch in your chest. And I'm telling you what, it's going to give you a great feeling uh, when you perform these because it's going to be such a unique tension. Make sure the ball is in the butt of the palm. Make sure it's not in the, the balls of the fingers. And that way you stress the wrist too much. So get the butt of the palm right on top of the ball. Feet on the floor, same technique, push those elbows out, get a nice deep stretch, make sure that that torso, that body stays nice and stiff and straight. We don't want the buns to stick up in the air or we don't want a banana like this, all right? If either of those two ha things happen and your form breaks, you got to back it down, you got to go slower, you got to go more entry level till you can perform the complete set to 20 with a nice straight torso. Now for you really advanced folks. Let's go off the medicine balls and let's put our feet up on a bench. Push those elbows out to the side, get a nice stretch. Down, breathe it in. Down, breathe it in. One more. Down, breathe it in. Nice pause. Whenever you get fatigued and you feel like you can't do another one, just simply bring your knee forward and come out of it. There's three or four different variations for your push-ups. It's a great exercise. You don't need a lot of equipment. When performed correctly, it can be very, very effective at stimulating muscle growth in the chest area. So there you go. I want you to know that you do have the power to change. Now, if these are the very simple tools, go out and make it happen. Make it a great day.